sacking 25,000 striking workers um, just like that is not as easy as perhaps I would want to believe it. Kenyans are desperate in need of health services. This hospital used to see about 400 to 1,000 patients per day. We have only seen 100 patients at the outpatient. We are not yet admitting patients, although now we have seven uh, patients in the wards. But these are basically patients that have been abandoned by relatives, so we have to take care of them. We have engaged the services of three community health workers, two ladies and a gentleman, to take care of them. So we have a bed capacity of 200, but now we are having only seven patients inside. We are not doing surgeries. We are not admitting expectant mothers because these services rely heavily on the nurses. We held our National Executive Council yesterday and we actually agreed that, uh, that uh, we, we take the option of going back to work so that negotiations can be able to go on. But in the middle of doing that, uh, you know, we hear on the news that people are sacked. So the nurses and the other health workers, you know, the message, the, the question they are asking, how do you go back when you have been sacked? So the government needs to restate the position that, uh, okay, whereas this was the position, but we are giving you a second option. Please go back to work so that uh, your issues can be handled. So uh, people have told me that how do I go back when I have been sacked? I need to be told whether I'm still uh, a bona fide employee of the ministry or I am sacked. The nurses have received sacking letters uh, as from 12 noon today. My concern here, really, is the concerns of the helpless patients. Not so much the health workers, not so much the government. Because there is a limit to which you can pass a message to the government and a solution must be found and therefore dialogue need to be given an opportunity um, and therefore it is important uh, for us to impress upon our members that uh, they should be able to uh, conduct themselves with, uh, with dignity in all this. Um, we need to uh, be patient and see if the government is uh, really serious that they can be able to negotiate, we'll be able to, you know, implore the government to reconsider the position of sacking 25,000 health workers. We want to give a dialogue a chance, but we don't want to take more time. And so we are appealing to them, both the parties. This matter must be resolved within 24 hours. We, as members of health committee, would be involved too. The whole thing should be called off. And we go to the drawing uh, you know, board and, 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 and start negotiations and address the issues. There is a limit which you can subject Kenyans to suffering.